Last time on Sailing on a Whim, we finally say goodbye to life on land and head south to move on to our new boat. But along the way, we stop and have a little fun before getting into all the projects that having a new boat entails. Stay tuned. Not on my watch. Stay tuned. We're going to war. We're dedicating this episode to killing roaches. No, 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 no. So after moving onto the boat, we were there for only a few days when we found a cockroach. I was sleeping and it crawled right by my head and that was it. At first, I wasn't that freaked out, but as I started to do a little research and I started to read about how these things procreate and what a bad issue these can be if you let them fester, we decided we were going to go to war. So that's what we did. We started to get prepared and we did a little research on how the best way to kill these. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos, and so here we go. This is not going to happen on my boat, not on my watch. Not on my watch. So we got we got all the cushions pulled up. Chris has spilled a ton of water. Filling the water tank, but okay, so we got all the So now the trick is gonna be getting into spaces like this. Here's our old Basically, there's a water tank, so it's in all the, you know, all these crevices down there. Um, and I think that's right in that little corner is where that little bastard uh, disappeared. I don't know, you can't really see it, but there's a little corner. Yeah, no fun. I've talked to the couple other people in the marine, and they said... <clears throat> Uh, that, the, the particular one we have is probably an American cockroach, which probably, if you're going to have any, it's probably the best kind. It's pr there's only one or two probably in your boat. We've only seen one, um, but we're going ballistic on this. You'll never get in here. Ever. And when this blackout is over, people are going to pay. Oh, yes. And you'll pay, too. Your boat is here. Your boat is here. Uh-huh. And, but he's, you know, he'd done some pest control, one of our neighbors, and he said, you know what, it's, you're, you're probably okay, but just bomb it, or just, you know, spray it, put your baits down and your treatments, and you'll probably be okay. He's like, I haven't seen many around here at all, so it's not like it's a huge issue around here, so. Oh. But that's kind of scary, you just don't want a big infestation of anything on your boat, especially like a few days after getting it. But we needed to clean, and we needed to do a kind of a deep clean, so this is it's good that we're doing this. All right. Okay, so we're all of our stuff out here, including the dog. All the cushions, cushions here. We got all of our other cushions over here, and I'm getting ready to, or at least start the cleaning process. Okay, so we uh, so we got everything pretty much cleaned out. Now it's time to hit the store and get some of this, this stuff, the goop, and. Uh, I think I'm going to just stick to the Advian uh, gel for now and just see if that works. That seems to online have done a really good job for most people. So I'm going to start that. We'll be back.
think I've come to the right aisle. The first aisle I went to did not have what I was looking for. Uh, but that was in the cleaning section, so I just don't think that was really the right place. So looks like this is way better, so. Well, if you're going to kill some bugs, you might as well kill some brain cells along with them. Okay, we're back. Let's go. Okay, we're back. And we have... I have an arsenal. Okay, so... Bengal Roach Spray. That's, you know, if you see them... Uh, now, this is, a, this is not quite as good as the other stuff we're going to get, but it is... Uh, Comet Max, it's a, it's a gel, so you squirt it in the places where they will walk, and then they eat it, and they and they die. And they, you know, they, they ingest it, they bring it back to the nest or whatever, and they die, and the other roaches eat them, and then they die. So it's just a kind of a chain reaction kind of thing. You got the dual, the dual space cannons. Okay, roach cannons. Then we got a couple roach motels. <laughs> and I love the, the tagline is, they check in, they don't check out. And then, okay, so then other stuff. So, all right, so I'm gonna go, and the first thing is I'm just gonna go and spray this, this place down with the roach spray as kind of a, you know, get started. And then I'm gonna go touch up with all the crevices and stuff that I can think of with this stuff. Here we go. works is you just put little, if you can see that, just a little bit like a pea size, a um, little bit, uh, in the crevices where you think the roaches are going to be. And so you kind of put along the path of them walking. And the idea is that as they walk, they're going to be attracted to this stuff. They love this stuff. They just can't get enough of it. And unfortunately, it just kills them. So um, It's kind of like eating McDonald's every day. Sorry, McDonald's. So I'm gonna put a little bit. This little bad boy right there, I don't think he's gonna make it. Yep. Let me give him a little. That mother's done! So, it's all cleared out. So I've dusted everything with that spray. And I've gone through the, some of the corners down here. I've gotten all those crevices. A little bit of that paste. So we're making some progress. We're probably about halfway done. Okay. Right under his foot, right under her foot, she just jumped. I hear the scream. 
Oh uh, yeah. So we know it's working. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Oh no, you're not going anywhere. Crawl on my foot. Lily's like, what is going on? One down. <laughs> that was awesome. I was kind of like, are we gonna find one? We found one, so we got one. And that's one I saw last night, probably, so we know it's working. It must have come out, because they love that stuff, that, that goop. Cool. And I spent spraying all over in the crevices, so it probably like flushed him out, too. That's good. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, look at that big boy. Come on. Yeah, ah! Ah! It's the roach cam. <laughs> so, all right. Well, uh, we're done for the day. Uh, we actually we put most of the stuff back in the stuff back in now. Um, and we have bombed. I mean, I really kind of got all this area done. It's so way back underneath uh, the like underneath the, the oven. And, in all the crevices, bomb the engine compartment. I mean, I got all the uh, back down here and all the cabinets. So under all the you know, the bilge, I got everything. Um, and obviously, we got one, which hopefully is the only one on the boat. And it was just a uh, just a rogue agent out on his own. But teach would be a rogue agent on my boat. So now we're just putting everything away, and then I don't know what we'll do. I think we're gonna have to treat ourselves with something today. Next time on Sailing on a Whim, we give you a glimpse into what living in a marina is really like and how much fun it can be before getting our new outboard so we can actually start doing a little bit of exploring around the Everglades. Stay tuned.